What's happening guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Before I get into it, I want to get something off my chest. <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's uh, just something I want to talk about a little bit. And I want to talk about creativity. Now, I feel like the past year, uh, probably more than a year, I just haven't been feeling as creative as I was when I first started uh, getting into YouTube like really crazy seriously. I don't know, like I feel like in the beginning I was like so excited to do this and I feel like ideas just kept popping in my head, things that I could do, videos that I could do and it was just, it seemed like it was a lot easier but now it's kind of like a repetitive process and it just <laughs> So it's like a trick in my mind telling me like the stuff that I'm making isn't creative or I'm not in the creative mindset when in fact it might it might actually be creative because don't get me wrong I'm, I'm using a camera I'm editing it together it is a creative process I'm creating something I feel like I've just been kind of stuck for the past year uh, not thinking that I'm putting out hundred percent perfect content and that's I feel like my problem and I realized last night after watching this video by Roberto Blake where he was saying like you know quality over quantity where he wasn't actually saying that, but people usually say you make quality content over quantity of content. And it, he was saying the reverse. It should be quantity over quality. Like you can't always put out uh, a couple times a week quality content. Don't get me wrong, it will be quality content, but it's not. you're not trying to shoot to make a 100% perfect video every single day on YouTube or whether it's something else. Maybe not YouTube, maybe you're an artist or something. Like, so what he was saying was create quantity content, make a lot of it, and with time, you'll kind of get better at it. And I feel like when I first started vlogging, I sucked. When a year after, I still probably sucked, but I did it so often that I feel like they finally started to get better because I was putting out quantity. I wasn't really focusing on making 100% perfect content every single day on my when I first started vlogging. Coming back to now, I feel like I kind of lost something. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a motivation to create vlogs or videos, but you probably noticed this. I don't upload as frequently as I did when I first started. And like I said, I don't know what the hell is going on. I don't know if it's a motivation thing or I just don't feel creative, but creative enough to do it or inspired to make something. Uh, so I don't know. That's what I'm struggling with right now. And that's why I don't upload as often as I used to. In my mind, I want to do it, but the results aren't there and I don't know that's all I want to talk about so I need to drill something in my head to get more content out because I love filming I love editing I love everything that it, there is to do with this thing with this lens on it and just whatever you can capture with it I don't know maybe you guys run into this before and maybe you've run into this stupid roadblock what what did you do what did you do to to break out of it and kind of Keep going. Love to hear what you guys think. All right, now that that's out of the way, I posted up on my Instagram and my Snapchat that I'm gonna be doing a Q and A. Yo, doing a Q and A over on my blog channel. So send me some questions uh, if you wanted to. You know yeah. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, or whatever else, make sure you check out the description. Got the links there. So if you missed this Q and A, maybe you can catch the next one. Got one from AWOL Images, and he said, "One place." Anywhere in the world you can make a 360 tour of look forward to the new video man just off the top of my head Machu Picchu uh, I think that would be like a crazy cool place to capture in 360 degrees because how like how does that place ex How did that how does that place exist it it looks fake it looks like a fake place that was just Put there or like I, I can't even explain it, but it would be not only amazing to film it in 360 degrees, but even to just go there and experience it. And uh, a second place off the top of my head would probably be the uh, the Great Wall of China. Next question is by Chelsea Smile Photo, and he said, "How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. How about yourself?" Next question is coming from Jose Cruz, and he said, "When are you gonna get your own custom gear, hats, shirts, etc., etc., etc.?" I don't know. I've always thought it would be a cool idea to do that, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to do it. At least not at this point in time. I just don't feel like I'm at the level or uh or just ready to do that at this time. It's a 
it's an idea in the back of my head, but it's not something that I'm really crazy focused on right now. All right, going over to Snapchat, we got one by Theo. He said, how do you manage YouTube and your 360 deals? Do you have one you prefer over the other? Uh, that's actually a really good question. So when it comes to creating content in terms of generating revenue, then I would totally say that making my 360 videos for clients is better when it comes to uh, creating revenue, making money, because you don't make money on YouTube unless you're getting millions of views. That's not even true. You could get a couple thousand views, but but in terms of spending time making a video versus spending time working with a client to create a 360 video, to be honest, I'd much rather do that if the end goal is to make money. And I think I like the balance between having the opportunities to create 360 videos and then on the side to create YouTube videos. The balance is awesome, I like the balance, so I can kind of have the time to do the things that I like to do and shoot on YouTube, but then also make extra money on my 360 shoots. And I asked this question in my last video, I think, or two videos back, and I was asking if you guys would wanna support me on Patreon. I shot the video, I shot the Patreon video, I was this close to uploading that video onto my main channel, but I'm gonna hold off on it. I, I don't think it's a good idea for me to do right now. So I came across this other website, it's called Gawkbox, and you can basically use that site to support creators for free. So the way it works is you create an account on there and then you download apps, play the apps for like a couple minutes and then uh, a certain amount of money that comes from that sponsor will go directly to me. So if you're interested in that, I got a link down in the description. If you do that, I appreciate it so much. Like I said, YouTube ain't cutting the bills these days. All right, we got another one on Snapchat from Jitsu Woody. This might be a video. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get it in focus in time. Hey Jeremy, uh, this will be a Q&A. So what has been your greatest achievement so far uh, for YouTube? I've never been the type of person to just speak out and kind of give my opinions about something or teaching people in, uh, whether it's on YouTube or in real life. Like I never really did those things, but I guess I enjoyed doing that. And I think the achievement is, you know, I guess most people would say, oh, I've hit 100,000 subscribers or 50,000 subscribers, which I'm at. But I think my greatest achievement is that I was able to help hundreds of thousands of people, uh, whether it's with uh, my tutorials on 360 videos or with the GoPros. So I'd say my greatest achievement is helping out you guys and kind of hearing that uh, those words coming from you guys, like, thank you so much, you've helped me uh, create better content. So I think that's my biggest achievement. So thanks for that question. All right, so this last question actually comes from Diana. And um, I swear this was not planned. Diana's not even here. She's in a different state. She's in uh, New Orleans for work. So here's the question. She said, let me see if I can read this backwards. How do you keep your creativity flowing? And then my reply was, LOL. Vlog starts off already with me saying I don't feel creative enough to make videos. <laughs> awesome question, Diana. Thank you for asking me the question that I'm struggling with right now. We kind of went back and forth a little bit and then she said, wouldn't the answer just be to just keep doing and then that will spark more creativity? And it's funny because that's so true. And I remember I did a video and one of the questions was, where does creativity come from? And I think Andrew was the one that asked that question and I, I think I remember saying something like, you know, creativity kind of comes from different inspirations from whether you're reading a magazine, watch, reading an article on the internet, watching another YouTuber's video or some other video, and like it kind of triggers different things in your head where you kind of have one idea and then you take this idea, put it together, and it just comes this kind of creative little uh, spark that makes you excited to make something. And I went back to watch the beginning of this video and I don't think it has anything to do with me not being creative and that's the reason why I don't upload as frequently. I think it's more has to do with being motivated to create it because I can have an idea and I'll think it's the greatest idea but my problem is making it. Like that's the thing. Like I'll have an idea and I just won't go and do it. So I think it's just more of getting myself encouraged to uh, act on these ideas and 
execute these 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 ideas that I want to create. So I don't know, Diana. Thanks for asking that question. Totally not planned or anything like that. But uh, hopefully, you guys maybe learn something from this little Q&A and I hope to see you guys ask some questions in the next one. Let me know if I should do more, hit the like button, or uh, maybe ask some more questions down in the comments. So I'm just really happy that I put this video together today because sometimes just thinking about it in your head doesn't really help you solve the problem. For me at least, if I speak it and kind of capture it on video and then able to watch it in the future, I feel like it kind of helps me uh, figure out the problem a lot quicker. And again, if I run into this in the future, I could watch this video and kind of remember what I was thinking at that time and then how I figured it out. So um, that's it guys. Hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you have any more comments or something or if you're going through the same thing, leave a comment down below and uh, I'll check you out in my next video. Bye.